Supplemental Math Videos from Circle Christian School. Triangle Proofs. They may seem like they're the hardest things to do because it's a proof, but if you just kind of logically walk through it, just like um, when you have to travel somewhere, you get your little GPS out, and it kind of tries to find the best way for you to go, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to use uh, five different maps to walk through the proofs. Uh, first one would be side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, or the HL roadmap. We're going to let that be our GPS. Uh, sometimes we pull out a wrong map and we'll have to put it back and uh, use a different map because we'll see that there are some different things. But if you look at the two triangles, generally what's happening between the angles and the sides will help you decide which one of the road maps that you should pull out. All right, let's start with our first proof here. With all proofs, of course, what you do is you draw a picture. I just see lots of nice little pictures. Next thing we're going to do is always put down what we've been given, what we need to prove. Very good. And lastly, we're going to uh, put in um, our labels in accordance to what we've been given. And after we do that, we are going to have to work through our roadmaps and see which one's going to work best. Now, I've got a, um, actually it's a parallelogram. We see that we've got some parallel lines. We have that we, you know, the sides here are congruent. If we have parallel lines, then we know we've got some cool angles going on. And if we have some cool angles going on, we know there's a, some sort of A happening in one of our roadmaps here. And then I'm going to tell you about this little hidden thing here. It, it gets very lost a lot in these proofs in when you have something that's reflexive. Um, same thing equals same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that with two little tick marks just to remember that I've got it. So I notice I've got a side, a side, and possibly some sort of angle. So I'm going to go through my little road maps here. I've got angles and I've got sides. And let's see, we know this one's not going to, the side, side, side's not going to be one. Uh, possibly an SAS and maybe possibly an ASA. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with the most basic one because I do have two sides going on and see if that's not going to work. So down the left side here, space it out. We're going to put our roadmap that we're using, our side angle side, and space it out. That's what you have to do with the proofs because sometimes you got to put stuff in between. And every time we hit something, we're going to put it together. I'm also going to kind of put down at the very bottom here where I'm trying to go, my location that I'm trying to get to, and that's triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. And the reason is going to be because of side angle side. Okay, let's start with the first things. We always kind of start with something that's been given. And we see that BC is congruent to DA. Very good. And that's because it's been given. All right, first one's done. We have a side, so we can go and circle that and move on to the next thing. And we see we need an angle. Well, I have highlighted my little transversal here, um, which means I've got some cool angles going on. And we know that because of my parallel lines, I have some angles jumping the transversal here. My alternating interior angles are congruent to each other. So I can say that angle um, BCA is congruent to angle DAC. Very good. But actually, before I can say that these two angles are congruent to each other, I'm going to have to say, uh, let's see, it was alternating interior angles. My bad, I kind of jumped the gun here. 
alternating interior angles. Um, that before I can say these two angles are actually congruent to each other, I'm going to have to say why they're congruent to each other. And we have that in another one of the givens. See, this is why I leave myself some space here, because sometimes we have to kind of add that, uh, you know, there's a stoplight or an intersection that we have to go through before we get to another place. And that's, of course, because it's given. Now I can say that the angles are congruent to each other, alternating interior angles, and we can check that off of our list. Okay, so now we need a side. Oh, yeah, we have that little hidden um, side that's congruent to itself. Um, AC is congruent to AC. And that's that reflexive property. Be very careful. There are lots of reflexives that happen. It can be an angle or it can be a side. Our reflexive properly. So, we, yes, we have a side that's congruent. We can check that off the list. And now we can say because of side, angle, side, that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. All right, let's try another one. And as with before, we're going to follow our um, guidelines for picking out the right map. And again, we're going to start with a drawing. So always make a drawing of what you're doing. Uh, put down what you've been given and what you have to prove. Very good. That's going to help us figure out which roadmap we're going to use in our triangle congruencies. If you're having a hard time doing these proofs, I can almost just bet that you're not following the guidelines of drawing, putting down the given, the proof, and then maybe not including um, a lot of good labeling here off of what you've been given. Okay. So now we have to kind of figure out again what roadmap we're going to use, whether we're going to use side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle. There is an angle, angle, side. And then our HL, that's our five roadmaps. So I'm going to take a look at my little triangles here and kind of see, let's see. Wow, I've got some angles and angles and a side here on both of them. So uh, let's see, we're going to totally not use side, side, side. Um, we've got two angles, so I'm probably not going to use that. So there is a possibility of using angle, side, angle, or maybe angle, angle, side. Not going to use HL because I notice I don't have anything in here that um, tells me that I have a right triangle. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. Angle, angle, side, angle. I think um, because as I walk around my triangle here, everything has to follow a nice order here that I see I have a side. I'm sorry. I have an angle, an angle, and then a side. So I think that's where I'm going to go here is with my angle, angle, and a side. Picking the right road map. And, and remember, you may pick a road map um, based on the information you have in your drawing here. Um, and if you ever hit kind of a roadblock and can't go any further, no big deal. It means you just have to go back to the start again and pick out a different road map because, you know, uh, there's just roadblocks that happen as you travel along the roads. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Um, angle, I need some sort of angle. Always start with some sort of given. Well, lo and behold, we have angle A is congruent to angle D. Very good. And uh, that was a given. Very nice. That works well. So I have an angle. Awesome. And now I need to find another angle. Well, looky here, we have um, another set of angles that have been given to us. So angle C is congruent to angle F. Very good. So that's awesome. And we've been given that. That's kind of cool. So that one's done. 
and we need a side. Well, isn't it just lovely that they have given us also a side here? So we have BC is congruent to EF. Awesome, cool, we have a side that's been given to us. We have a lot of givens in this one. It's really great when they do that. And so we have fulfilled all three requirements on our roadmap here, our angle, angle, side. So now we can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF because of the roadmap that we used, angle, angle, side. Very good. Um, not all of them are this easy. What I'm going to tell you though is that as you do some proofs, Maybe you get a little bit stuck. Don't be afraid to go back and look at the answer key to see how they did it. Uh, the ones that I believe have a circle around them are included in the worked out solutions. Take a look at those. Uh, that will kind of guide you in what type of roadmap to use. Uh, the video that follows this, Triangle Congruencies Part 2, will have a few of them that are a little bit more difficult. Okay. Happy trails.